Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Historical Sew Along series, where we'll take you through the ins and outs of some simple historical sewing projects to build up your wardrobe and your hand skills, maybe even both at the same time. From prep work to finished product, we'll do it together, following step-by-step instructions with some tips and tricks sprinkled in along the way. This series is meant for all skill levels, but it is especially nice for beginners to build confidence while building a solid toolkit of techniques. So feel free to pause, rewind, rewatch, and fast forward to whichever parts you need as many times as necessary. So with all of that said, let's get to the good stuff. Today's video is part one of a three-part series making a simple petticoat. This petticoat is not meant to go over hoops or bums, but is meant to be worn as an outer petticoat. We might cover hoops, bums, and under petticoat modifications in future videos, so stay tuned. In terms of materials and supplies, we're gonna need the usual suspects, so pins, needles, scissors, thread, fabric, uh, tape for the waist ties. Some of you were asking some really great questions on our live about thread, so I just wanted to cover some of the basics here too. Remember that the weight of thread is important, so pairing the right weight of thread uh, to the weight of your fabric, but also pairing the right type of thread to the fiber of your fabric. So for instance, linen thread or just thread as it's called in the 18th century is great for linen fabric, though it's sometimes used on cotton, silk, and wool as well, just depends. Sewing silk is typically used on silks, but we also see it used on wools as well. And lastly, sewing cotton uh, can be used for stitching on cotton fabrics. Now when it comes to most surviving petticoats, the hem circumference seems to be somewhere between 90 to 120 inches. Although, as with everything, there are always outliers. But to determine how much fabric we're going to need, we have to consider the width of the fabric first. So if you're using fabric that is 55 to 60 inches wide, you'll probably only want two panels for your petticoat. But if your fabric is 44 or 45 inches wide, you'll want somewhere between two and a half to three panels. Next, we'll need to determine the length of those panels. So if you have a favorite petticoat that is the perfect length for you already, go ahead and measure that one and then just add about three quarters of an inch or so for seam allowance. If this is your first petticoat, no worries because there is an easy way to figure out how long to make your petticoats and you don't even need a measuring tape or a helper. To do this, stand in front of a mirror and take a piece of tape or string and press it tightly against your waistline. Adjust the length of the string by looking in the mirror until the end of the string is sitting about where you want the hem of your petticoat to sit. Once you've got it where you want it, go ahead and mark your string or tape with a pin, being sure to add about three quarters of an inch for seam allowance. If you really like numbers, you can measure that piece of string from end to pin with a measuring tape and write that measurement down, or you can just use your tape or string for the next step. Now we'll just use our tape or string to measure out the length of our panels on our fabric. To do this, lay your tape or string along the salvage edge of your fabric and make a small snip at your pin mark. If you're working with a plain woven fabric that tears easily, you can just tear the fabric from your snip to get a straight edge. Not all fabrics tear well though, so you might wanna test this before you tear. Some textiles will leave a lot of bubbling or frayed fabric along a torn edge. This happens frequently with a lot of linens. In that case, it's just better to pull a thread. To do this, find one of the weft threads on either side of your snip and carefully pull the thread out from the width of your fabric. Then use your scissors to cut in the gap left behind and this will guarantee a straight edge as well. If you are working with 60 inch wide fabric, measure out one more panel using your string or the panel length that you just cut. And if you're using 44 or 45 inch width fabric, repeat this step for a total of three panels. If you want a petticoat on the fuller end of the spectrum, leave the panels as they are. Otherwise for a narrower petticoat, cut one panel in half lengthwise to reduce fullness. All right, friends, that is a good place to stop for today, but bring your thimble and join us next time for part two when we'll begin stitching our pupper coats. Um, wait, did I, did I just say pupper coats? I, I definitely meant petticoats, um, but since you mentioned puppies. Puppies. <laughs>